Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. We released an update to React Studio, and this update is all about revamping the script editor. The update also contains some nice UX fixes or UX improvements for, for, for the studio, but the main thing is the script editor. So I don't suggest anyone to use custom scripts, but in many cases they're really pretty handy, but you just have to understand that things might get complicated if you use use really, really uh, custom scripts and you hack your project to be so that the UI actually doesn't have any idea what's happening under the hood in the scripts. So anyway, let's head head to the uh, some examples and I'm, I'm going to show you. So uh, for this project, maybe I would have a one text field here, let's call this Text field uh, name. Oh, I made a typo there. And uh, then we need a text label for showing the name. Your name. Like this. And uh, I think I will do it so that the when you when you uh, write text here, it will update the data slot value and then we can connect the data slot value here in, in with the script and uh, with the props. So let's go to interact and when user edits text, it will, let's create a new data slot and this will be user name, data slot username and uh, for the text label Let's hook the data. So text will always come from the username. So now when I type something here, it will actually appear here. And let's run this in the simulator. Not that in the simulator, but in a browser. And uh, like this. That's pretty, pretty, pretty simple. And so let's go to the script. I had the data here, I can click the script editor here or click here. And in here I get all the all the uh, components and screens on the left side here and all the scripts that I have in a project, they appear here. So I can easily easily uh, go through the scripts here and copy and paste the scripts and uh, save some snip snippets, handy snippets for my project. So anyway, in this script uh, maybe I will just do it so that this script will add a add a text your name is like this and then save it and let's run this again so this is how the script works so anyway Let's head back to here and uh, I want to, I could do it so that we could, for example, calculate something from the uh, data sheet or, or just combine two different data slots into one single, single text field. So let's do that first. So I'll have it here, this one, this one. And uh, when user edits this, it will actually, let's call this age. So this, this uh, field here, I think I only need this one. This will be field age, call this age, and maybe I add a text also for here, name. And then add a text label here, and then head to the script. data and this value will come from the I will I will uh, take the value from the text value but inside the script I can do it so that I will also get the name name of the sorry uh, I think we need to change this uh, by the way this is this will be yeah it's updating the age and this will update the username data slot so Let's go back here and uh, username 
open with the username and uh, open with the JavaScript editor. And in here, on the right side, you can see a snippet button here. I'll simply click access data slot. And in this case, I want to access also the age data slot. So let's do a variable equals this data slot value here. So now I have this uh, user's age in this, this variable. So I can create a script which shows your name is plus and you are like this. So this should print your name is whatever you typed in the in input field and then your, your age is whatever you typed in the input field. Let's test it out. Yeah, and it works. So your name is Antti and you are 35 years old. If I change anything here, it will update it immediately here. So that's the that's that's what makes it really easy. And now maybe I'll create another screen here. This would could be data sheet demo here at a nav bar, and we need a button here for going to data sheet demo here. And add an interaction, so this is connected to the datasheet screen here. And in this screen, we could do it so that let's let's uh, calculate something out of datasheet. So I add a label here, and then we need to create a datasheet. Let's add a datasheet. Let's call it sales, and add some mockup data. I hope we have some data here that we can actually... Uh, Get some numbers. Yeah. So this is this could be our sales. Let's call it sales amount. So this this column will be holding the whatever we sold today, and we want to calculate the sum from this value. From this uh, from this data sheet. Let's head back here and go to data and let's select the sales amount here. It actually doesn't matter what we what we select here because we are going to override it with the script anyway. So I'm not sure how to actually build this script, but let's see. Let's see. Uh, Data sheet equals, and again, snippet. So ds variable will, will hold the data for the data sheet. And then we can just loop it through. And uh, let's, we also need the, the sum amount variable here, which is zero by default. Okay, so let's do it like this. We need to loop through the uh, data sheet. So we are looping through the, through the value from the data sheet. And then let's just check if, uh, if we can access the, the column here. Uh, let me see if this is right. It looks, it looks right. 
yeah and then this will be cloud So items e dot um, what was the name for the I will have to check what was the name for the for the column it was sales amount so this should add whatever is in the sales amount column to this sum amount variable here and finally we can I can call this input equals and let's test it out oh it, it there's definitely a type uh, type type error there not type error but I made a typo there so let's call this i equals zero and again, and then we have a, again we have a bug in the script. Anyway, let's check it out. Some amount. Yeah, there's a, there was an N missing from the variable name. And again, let's see what happens. So we got some kind of sum here. It's it's uh, it looks like it, it just added the string strings together. So we need to fix that by using uh, I think it's parse. Uh, how do you write how parse int? So we have to make this string to an integer 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 values so let's see how it works now and now we got 779 that should be the sum if you if you calculate and we I think it's also good to console log for each value so I can just New value found. And this should write a log log for us from the each each of the each time when the the loop loop goes through. Let's head the developer tools and open the console we should see yeah new value found and then again we get get from 0 to 100 here okay so that's that's how the new new uh, script editor works there's also handy feature uh, for saving your own own scripts uh, let me open it from here on user snippets this is just uh, use this kind of uh, markup language, and then whatever you write here is is uh, will be will be uh, will appear in the snippet. So let's call this my example name snippet like this. So it will. Your name name is so this would be the the snip goat snippet that I want to save and this will be the name for the snippet so I will save it here and then I can call go to here and uh, select here my example snippet and it will add the code here so that's really handy way for you to save save your own code snippet 
Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you got some ideas out of this and uh, see you in the next next video. Have a great day.